Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the DJI Mavic 3 Intelligent Flight Battery. Now, notice I used the word intelligent there, and that's because DJI didn't just build a battery that's lithium cells or lithium polymer cells. It's actually an intelligent power source that talks to the drone when it's flying and lets it know exactly what's going on with the battery. It also talks to the charger when you're charging it and balances the charger across all the internal cells. So unlike a lot of drones, they use a really basic battery pack that relies on the drone to do a lot of the work or the charger to do a lot of the work. This thing is a self-contained power plant that's constantly doing what it can to extend the life of the batteries and protect the drone you're flying. Now I'll get into some of those intelligent features in a minute, but before I do, let's start with a basic understanding of what the battery provides. So the battery itself can give you 5,000 milliampere hours of internal capacity, which is a lot of power for a small power plant like this. It's also a 15.4 volt battery, and if you do the math on that, the battery produces 77 watt hours of energy. And that's an important number because if you're gonna be flying on vacation, the airlines like to keep the batteries under 100 watt hours. So having a 77 watt hour battery means you won't have any problems with TSA. You can get on the airplane, take your drone, take your batteries on your next vacation. Now, the other thing that's interesting is that a lot of battery technologies today work on lithium polymer chemistry inside those batteries. This is a lithium ion battery, which is kind of a newer technology, and there's a lot of debate out there about which one is better. But the lithium ion batteries tend to hold the charge longer. They're also better in hot weather, cold weather, as far as charging and use. And the last thing, which I think is super important, is that they provide a tremendous amount of energy density, which means you get a lot of juice inside of a small package, which is exactly what you want if you're flying a big drone like the Mavic 3. Now, this battery works in the Mavic 3, the Mavic 3 Pro, the Mavic 3 Enterprise. So as long as it's a Mavic 3, the battery will slide in there and you'll be good to go. Now, as far as the intelligence goes, there's two places that that intelligence comes into play. When you're charging the battery, normally a battery pack for most drones is really just a dumb collection of cells that requires a really sophisticated charger to quickly and safely balance the voltage and current across all those cells. With this one, there's a controller inside the battery that will take the raw voltage coming in and take responsibility essentially for managing that across all the cells internally. So it's a lithium ion 4S unit and that controller will make sure that all of the cells are balanced and it's gonna guarantee that the current and voltage coming in charges all of those equally. And that's super important because if they're charged unequally, you can have some problems when you're flying, but more importantly, you can actually damage the cells. And these are not inexpensive batteries, so you wanna really take care of the battery the best you can. A couple other things that controller does is it also keeps track of how many times the battery has been charged, if there are any issues with the battery. It's looking at things like over temperature, over voltage, short circuit, undercurrent, overcurrent. So all the things that could possibly damage the battery or more importantly, damage the drone you're, you're sliding it into to take out and fly. So the controller is doing a really good job of monitoring the current and voltage coming in when you're charging it and also monitoring the current and voltage going out of it when you're flying. It's also talking to the drone the entire time you're flying. So the drone is querying the battery saying, hey, how much juice do we have left? It's doing calculations about how far away from your home point you are. So if the battery gets to a certain level, it lets the drone know, look, you're too far away from your home point to get back safely. Maybe you want to do a return to home. The drone triggers that return to home, elevates the height, turns around, flies back to where it took off, and lands pretty much where it took off. So the battery is really important in the flight of the drone. You can also, on the battery, there's a controller again inside that lets you know how much of a charge is on the battery. This one has four bars on it right now, which means you've got 100% charge. This one has got two bars on it, and that means I've got a 50% charge because each of those bars represents 25% of a charge. Now, if you've got two with the third one blinking, that means you're somewhere between a 50 and a 75% charge. So always make sure that you check that before you head out to fly. Now, a couple of ways you can charge these batteries. You can slide it inside your Mavic 3 and charge it directly inside the drone, or you can use an external charging hub like this one that'll allow you to charge up to three batteries at the same time, and it won't charge them all at the same time. What it does is look at the batteries you slid into the hub, and it's gonna query the batteries to find out which one of these batteries needs the least amount of charge, and it's gonna charge that one first. And when that's done, it's gonna shut off the battery, query the other two batteries to find the one that needs the least amount of charge, and then charge that one next, and finally the third one. So I like the charging hub a lot, but you can also charge them inside the drone, so it's totally up to you. The one thing I will tell you, though, is the minute you put that Mavic 3 up in the air, you're gonna have so much fun with that drone. 
that you're going to go out and start looking for a second battery and maybe even a third battery to extend your flight time. And then you're going to wonder, how can I charge those batteries? Now, you can slide them in the drone and rotate them through, but having a hub like this means I can pop three batteries into it, connect it up to a charger, and go get a cup of coffee. So it's going to be smart enough with the controller inside the hub to talk to the batteries and actually rotate through the batteries to charge them all in succession based on their current charge levels. The last thing you need to know about these batteries is that because of their large energy density, you need a big charger to charge them. You can't use a 33 watt charger. You can't use your old cell phone charger. You need at least a 65 watt charger. Better yet, if it's PD or power delivery, because they're fast charge capable. And if you have a charger that's fast charge capable, PD, it can actually charge the batteries really, really quickly. 65 will work great. 100 watt or greater will work even better. So if you've got a big charger like 100 watt, like that came with your laptop, you can charge these batteries. Now with the hub, there's a USB-C connection right here to charge them. On the drone, you've got the same connection. And that's pretty much it. So I think DJI's done a phenomenal job with these particular battery packs. I love the fact that they're intelligent, which means they're protecting the cells inside. They're also protecting the drone when I slide them in there. So I have no fear of damage in the drone or damage in these, you know, fairly expensive accessories. So hopefully you found this review helpful. You can find these as individual batteries like this or in groups of two or in groups of three or even with a charging base. So you get three batteries in the base together. The choice is yours as to what makes more sense for your budget. But I think they did a great job, and it's a phenomenal battery, and it'll give you a lot of good flight time. So thanks an awful lot for watching, and as always, until next time, happy flying!